the same. If you're gonna act like an orange, don't dress up like a banana. Oh, you lied. Hi guys, and welcome to episode three. Three of the T files. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about microphones, the two different types, and what they do. This just in. Barney the dinosaur, our favorite beloved dinosaur, is actually a guy dressed up in a dinosaur costume. I know. His name is David Joyner. What next? Oh, microphones. Right. Okay, so the two most in common types, dynamic, cordoid, or condenser. I'm going to briefly tell you the difference between the two quickly. Um, dynamic, handheld, everyone knows them. It's the live performance singing microphones. And then you get your condenser mics which is more for your studios, that kind of stuff. Cordoid, you get two different types. You get vocal, obviously, for singing voice, instrument for micing up guitars or saxophones, that kind of instruments. Um, cordoid, you get standard cordoid for Snoop Dogg style, yo-yo, or hyper or super cordoid for Katy Perry's roar, kind of raw. Yeah. Basically, the difference is inside is a diaphragm, more copper coiling around it makes it more stronger or more sensitive so cordoid would have less super cordoid would have more that's the difference between those now when it comes to studio or condenser mics that's a studio mic you'll always see this in studios they come in different shapes and sizes but it's designed to fit in a cradle they call it a cradle because it's made from elastic bands Basically, the microphone sits inside and doesn't get any interruptions or feedback from the mic stand or some walking on it because it's a super sensitive mic. So you don't want anything else coming through the mix when you're recording. Uh, so that's cradle studio mic. And the other options are what they call pencil mics for good reason because they look like pencils. Okay, really thick pencils, but that's besides the point. They're normally powered by nine volt battery or three volt battery, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, or they're powered by 48 volts. Now, 48 volts is another name for phantom power because you can't see it. Uh, most of the microphone mixes and stuff have it built in, some amps as well. But it's a little button you push and it sends 48 volts from the cable through to the microphone powering it, making it more sensitive. All right, so I'm gonna give you a brief description between, well, brief audio description. Words are not coming out of my mouth this morning. I'll give you a graphic or an audio file between the two different options of dynamic or condenser. So first, this is your standard live kind of dynamic microphone. So if I talk into it, it picks up from quite close. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> cool. Okay. So that you can see if I talk further away, I don't hear much. One, two. But close up, like Snoop Dogg, yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, you know, you get the idea. Okay, and condenser is very, very sensitive. Starts picking me up from here already, can you hear? Wow, that's amazing. How is this happening? All right, phantom power, guys. This stuff is real. Okay, so if I go closer, it starts picking up a lot more of my voice. If I talk further away, you can still hear me. This is amazing. Oh, okay. So that's that's basically the gist of it. I know I said just it again. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, um, that's microphones. Um, if there's any questions you guys want to know about microphones that didn't kind of get through this video, please drop a comment or leave a message or whatever you guys do nowadays. I don't know. Um, yeah, and. That's pretty much <laughs> me and this words. I don't know. Okay. Um, have a great weekend, guys. Or whenever you watch this video. I don't know. Just enjoy your day. And see you guys in episode four. Cheers.